in the spirit of what that great man Dr. Albert Schweitzer called a reverence for all life. All life must be regarded as sacred. For there is but one life that flows into all. This one life sleeps in the mineral and the stone, stirs in the vegetable and the plant, dreams in the animal and wakes in man. All life must be regarded as sacred. Are you aware that on an average a human being eats about 7,500 animals, both big and small, during a lifetime? 7,500 animals, every one of whom loves life, as well as do those that eat them up. The time is come when we must decide once and for all that all types of human tyranny must cease. All types of human exploitation must go. Animals do not exist as resources for human beings. Today, wherever I go, I hear of animal welfare. But animal welfare is not the answer. Animal rights are needed. Men have their rights. Do animals have no rights? I believe the time has come when we must all get together and formulate a charter of animal rights and a charter of man's duties towards the animals. Every animal has certain fundamental rights and the very first right of every animal is the right to live. live. For we cannot take away that which we cannot give and since we cannot give life to a dead creature we have no right to take away the life of a living one. It has been decided by the Sadhu Aswani mission with its worldwide branches and centers to observe the 25th November, the birthday of Sadhu Aswani, as an international meatless day, to refrain from all food of violence, fish, fowl, flesh, on that sacred day. I thank you.